Zlatan fact. You can't use Zlatan as your password because Zlatan is too strong. Welcome back to Let's Play AC Milan in Football Manager 2021. And today we play the probably toughest league game of the whole season. Because we are playing Juve away. And yeah, that's basically like playing the final boss in a game. But before we look into that, let's see what's been going on since the last game. So in the last episode, we got a great win away versus Roma. We followed that one up with a nice win versus Genoa. And we also beat Partizan in the uh, Europa League group stage. And then this happened. And not only did we lose versus uh, Sassuolo, they were much better. It wasn't like until the end of the game, I was playing like crazy attacking. I used three defenders, two strikers attacking central midfielders and playing overload everything like all out crazy attacking. We managed to get one goal in. But for like 60% of the game, they were dominating things. So I am not pleased and it was an away game and now we have another tough away game. Well, I haven't looked in on the league much during these episodes. So this is actually the current standing. And the interesting thing is that Juve is just in 7th place. Now clearly I don't believe they're going to end up the season in, in this position. I still think that they are probably favourites to win. But looking at the top, I mean Atalanta is 7 points ahead of Juve, 6 points ahead of us. And also Lazio doing well, Inter doing well. And of course our Baines men Sassuolo are ahead of us. Yeah, that's the current situation more or less. I just want to mention one little thing here from the top goal scorers. You find Lapadula, and if you've been following my previous uh, series for, for a previous version of Football Manager, you may remember that name. I signed him in Premier League many years ago in a, in a series, and everybody was uh, dissing me for that signing, and he was like crazy scoring 20 goals plus per season. So yeah, I have a little special extra love for him. Uh, we have also picked up a new injury. It's uh, Calabria. He's going to be out for three weeks. So we'll just have to try to, to manage uh, without him. Uh, Castelleo, just back from his injury, lacking much fitness. He haven't played. This is uh, like we've been back for a day or two. But now let's go to the big game. And this is the way when I started. We are doing some rotations as always, playing a little bit more defense minded. I'm not going positive or attacking mentality. I'm staying balanced. I'm even considering defensive. But we're going to, to start like this. I also put some individual instructions for my defenders to mark a little bit tighter and, and, and so on. And uh, here we can see the lineups and of course a, a lot of world-class players in uh, Juve. And the biggest name of them all, Cristiano Ronaldo. And uh, we see the actually interesting formation here from, uh, from uh, Juve. But yeah, uh, enough talking. Let's play some football. It is a game on. Juve versus AC Milan. I'm looking here at statistics to see. Oh, we got the first shot. He's just trying to see some signs of what's going on. Here's Sonali with the corner into the box. And look at that. No, wait, 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 wait. It's going to be a war. I thought first that was going in, but I think we're going to see a penalty instead. That's kind of weird because we scored from that situation. Shouldn't we have gotten the goal instead? But we see Ibrahimovic, he steps up, Ibrahimovic shoots and Ibrahimovic scores and this is a sensational start. Ibrahimovic, fifth goal of the season, we are one up, away versus Juve and we haven't even played for 10 minutes. We have felt like we should have gotten the goal instead of the penalty since even though we was fouled, the ball went into the net, should have been a goal. But now we see Donnarumma with a goal kick for Kier, Conte, Conte, going for a long one to who to... Brahim, Brahim into the box, Brahim, and I uh, guess it was a decent try. We are creating stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm pleased this far. Now I should probably not jinx it because I'm very, very. Wait, it's going to be a free kick in a very dangerous situation. Cristiano Ronaldo. Whoa, that almost gave me a heart attack. Now we see Donnarumma with a goal kick. Okier, Conte, Conte sets up Brahim for nobody. Nobody at all, all the way back to the UV goalkeeper. Come on, lads. Lads, 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 lads. You don't give Ronaldo that type of space. This is the reason why we are marking him harder and playing with a much lower defense line. It's because you should be on the right side there. Shouldn't be a room behind you where Ronaldo can room free. But instead we see Brahim on the left flank. Yes, Ibrahimovic in the middle. Can he get it inside? Can he? Well, it's a goal kick. Why did the game show us that one? 
We have a throw-in for Juve, just outside the box, but Brahim wins it. Ibrahimovic, Ibrahimovic, oh, that was a bad pass from Ibrahimovic. And Theo, Hauge, Kessier, Tonali, Ibrahimovic, Ibrahimovic, Igladini, Kessier, Kessier tries to reach somebody, but nope. Instead, we see Juve building something here. Lads, lads, stop him, stop him, stop him. And that is Cristiano Ronaldo. I think the only tactic to stop Cristiano Ronaldo is probably with a shotgun. But still, we are in a good position. A draw away versus you is not a bad result. But that defending is really bad. Like these guys more or less collided and uh, Ronaldo could uh, roam free. Uh, let's see here. Actually, oh, it's really close to offside, but it is no offside. He's on the right side. Looking at statistics, they have taken over a bit now. But still, still pretty okay. A yellow card there. Another yellow card for you, players. They are picking up a few. And we're going to get into the half time whistle here. Looking now, we're not going to go too deep into the analysis. When, when I play by myself, I usually like take a look here and try to uh, analyze stuff and come up, find out what to, to do. I feel like it probably won't be as too exciting for you guys, for me, having staring at the statistics and, uh, yeah, more or less doing that. Let's see. We, let, let's try to keep them on the feet. Yeah, it really, really worked. Look at this. Everybody seems motivated. Exactly what we were after. We have a throw-in. So this start, this start, this uh, half starts with a chance for Juve. Cleared. And look at that. What's up with the defense? Come on, lads. Come on. You disappoint me. Let's have a shout. We want to say, I want them to focus. I mean, nobody. That's too much. You shouldn't have, be able to have that much free space inside our box. Looks like they didn't like my team talk, though. And we once again see you. We probably need to go a little bit more attack mining now since we are behind. It doesn't matter if we lose with, with one or two. And um, let's go attacking. But not sure in the lit, passing it around. Come on, lads. Come on. Why do they have so much space? I'm playing with both the central defenders with tighter marking instruction. And, and even though I do that, he was completely alone. I'm not sure what's up with that, uh, but we need to to uh, we need to change things around now. So what we're going to do? Let's see here. Let's see. Kessier probably doing the worst of the guys. So we're going to do roll like this, and then we're going to change. Diaz is not having a great game, but maybe he can do better in in the mid because that's his probably strongest position. Um, maybe. Let's focus on attack, and then Kisi will be changed around with... I mean, we could have a Castelleo doing his uh, comeback here. He haven't played, of course, because of his injury for some time. So, time for a comeback. Haug is really, really tired, so let's bring in Liao. Probably going to go with an inside forward to get some even more attacking going. I think we can go with Tonali. Let's undo that one. We are going to go that route instead and get you in as a playmaker. Let's uh, let's see how this feels for a while. Now this is risky business because we are playing away versus you and now we're going attacking and we have an injury. Theo Hernandez, of course. Of course. Why am I not surprised? And we are going to demand more. More lads, we're still attacking. Not a single highlight. Let's go back to the drawing board. We are going to go for uh, for uh, much more direct passes. We're going to really bump it up now. We are going to go uh, to strikers. As I said, we have nothing to lose here. It doesn't matter to us if we concede another one. It wouldn't make a, a difference. So we're just going to go all in. And see what happens. We have nothing to lose. 
but yeah, this is uh, this is really a bit risky business, and I wouldn't be surprised if uh, if they could take advantage of, to it. And um, we see Juve with another chance here, clear by defense, maybe or maybe not to delete. And once again, we see nothing of that tighter marking. Come on, lads. Beautiful there by Gagliardini. No mistakes are allowed. Care. Come on, lads. I'm really a bit, a bit nervous when you're passing. Oh, what? Why? There was like... No, I, I would accept it if you tried to do something special and the pass didn't work. But there was none of our plays like even remotely close in that direction. So it wasn't like, oh, he tried to do something fancy. It was he gave it away for no reason because it wasn't under any serious pressure. Very attacking, come on, lads. Clock ticks on, five minutes of extra time. Something, give me something. But uh, I guess we're going to go for nothing. That's a full-time whistle, and... I mean, we know from the beginning it was going to be a very tough game. I'm not surprised that we lost. We're not at a level where we should be beating you uh, away yet. I feel like that's probably two seasons away or something. Uh, so I'm not too disappointed. It's not the game we should take three points at. But at the same time, you're always disappointed when we don't win. And you're always disappointed when you lose. But, uh, I mean, from this one, every single game should be easier than this one, right? We shouldn't have a harder game this season, at least in the league, than Juve away. So we, we just need to turn it around because we lost two games in a row. It's time to start winning. But that's it for this episode. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.